Each year, technology, as you know, becomes more accessible, smarter, and faster with the world racing toward a more connected lifestyle through technology. So what does that mean to the average consumer? Well, social media and tech expert Sarah Evans is joining us now to discuss this year's exciting consumer electronics show announcement and where she thinks tech is headed now. Hi, Sarah. We're excited to hear about this. All of us use technology every day. So tell me a little bit more about the show this year, what you're seeing. Well, thanks so much for having me. Uh, the show floor opens today, but yesterday was the big media reveal for a lot of companies. We're seeing 8K TVs, rollable TVs, autonomous robo robots, voice control, everything, which is huge. 5G wireless, and of course, the big announcement from the cable industry with 10 Gs, 10 gigabits, coming to homes in the next couple of years. Okay, we're going to try to absorb all of that. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about connected lifestyle. That's a term I'd never heard before. So connected lifestyle basically refers to anything in your home that is an internet connected device and preparing to have great connectivity because of all of those connected devices. I live in Las Vegas, I'm a Cox Communications customer, so I have access to gigabit internet speeds. That means all of my devices can run seamlessly without any interruption. And believe me, my seven-year-old will tell me if something doesn't work within five seconds. And the <laughs> Consumer Electronics Show is showing more and more internet connected devices. Everything from uh, smarter kitchens to smarter toothbrushes, everything utilizing that connectivity. So we need to be prepared for it. Okay, so talking about Wi-Fi now, what is fast enough with broadband speed? Well, I don't ever think you can be too fast in it. Talking about those gigabit internet speeds that I mentioned, you know, it's a game changer for me, for someone who does utilize smart devices and has a smart home, uh, home life technology, it's important. But if we're planning for the future and looking at these devices, 10 Gs, 10 gigs is really essential. And it's also going to be one of the things that powers the 5G network, the fifth generation for our mobile devices. Samsung just launched their first 5G phone yesterday. So we're preparing for inside the home, outside of the home, but I always need to get home where my best connection is. It's hard to believe that it can get even faster, but we definitely hear that with the younger generation. They say, we want more immediacy, and I'm thinking, how is that even possible? But that answers my question. But let's go back to um, those televisions that you were talking about. Can you give some more specifics? So some of the televisions that we're seeing, like with the 8K content, while there isn't content developed for it yet, have the ability, the capacity to be able to uh, play it to you as the consumer. Also, LG launched a foldable, a rollable TV, where you press the button and the TV actually rolls back down into a console. So the console itself becomes uh, an entertainment piece or a piece with shelving that you can utilize when you don't want to watch content. So that's the physical, the outside. But internally, we're seeing cable companies as aggregators bringing everything together so I can use my voice control remote, say a, a show, and it pulls it up even on Netflix if I have it. We're seeing things more integrated, working well together and utilizing that broadband connection. Just like that, Alexa, take my Christmas decorations down <laughs> joke that we were talking about the yes, other day here please, in the studio. Can that happen? Yes, right? All right, thanks so much for joining us and uh, we're all excited to hear more about it, especially with the television. So where can our viewers go for more information about what you've been talking about? On any social network, you can search hashtag CES2019 to see all the latest and greatest news. For the products I mentioned today, you can visit Cox.com. All right, thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you.